In this video, we want to take a look into Razor Pages. We want to know when and where we should use Razor Pages. Razor Pages are great new features in ASP.NET Core 2.0. And in the latest release, version 2.1, they are more matured and more flexible. Many of the new features of the last ASP.NET Core related to Razor Pages. So Microsoft and ASP.NET Core development team are determined to make this a better and more useful feature. So let's look into it and see where and when we should use. In ASP.NET Core 2.0 and in Visual Studio, when you want to create new project, the default template is web application. And if you look into the description here, it says it creates an ASP.NET Core Razor Pays application. So the default project in ASP.NET Core 2.1 is Razor Pages. It was the case in version 2.0. But in older versions of ASP.NET Core, we only had model view controller. So Microsoft is trying to make us or make new web developers use this new feature and they have a good reason for it. Razor pages are easier to use and to understand. Also should know that creating a web application using Razor pages doesn't mean that you cannot use MVC. Razor page is a part of MVC. At any point in time, later in your project, you can create a controller alongside your Razor pages and nothing prevents you from doing that. You can redirect from a Razor page to a controller and you can redirect from an action to a Razor page. But Razor pages are easier to create and to maintain. When you create a new ASP.NET Core application, you can do almost everything with Razor page. Anytime, anywhere you have a page, you have a view, and there you can use a Razor page. If you want to return data like a web API system or REST server, you can use MVC. MVC is good when you are returning data. But Razor page is very good in maintaining views. So you can use Razor pages for almost 80% of your web project, especially if you are not doing any AJAX calls or JavaScript coding. If all you do is server-side programming and post redirect get systems, you can always use Razor page. In a PRG or post redirect get, we have a form and we fill submit and send it using post method to a server. Server does a thing and saves the data and redirects user to a new page using a get method. You actually use this mechanism a lot. Almost every page you make use this PRG mechanism. So you can use Razor page for almost anything. Of course, if you are going to create an SPA application using Angular, React, or Vue.js, maybe Razor page is not for you. But in many projects, especially the projects you want to create and maintain as fast as possible, creating Razor page is easier. So we have our ASP.NET Core application, and we have Razor pages, and we can use MVC. When we should use Razor page? In my opinion, if you already have a project using ASP.NET Core 2 or 2.1 and you created it using MVC, you don't have to fall back and go to Razor page again. It's better to continue what you have done so far with MVC. But if you are creating a totally new project, you can always try Razor page. There is a reason why Razor page is the default template 
I couldn't believe that myself, but when I tried it for a few projects, I saw the point of using Razor page and I am using them a lot now. In my next videos, I try to show you how Razor page works and how you can use them in a database project application.